Hello YouTube friends and welcome. Today I have for you a presentation on, or a little review of the Oakley uh, Crossrange XL. So these are sunglasses or shades and uh, I made uh, the last, uh, uh, last presentation or rather review back in October 2015 because then I got the sliver and since time has passed and one day I did drop them and they break so yeah long story short I <coughs> didn't find a replacement because the sliver is an older model and I decided to get a, a new get new sunglasses with uh, a better fit so uh, because I'm a larger guy uh, I have really problems to to find nice uh, a nice pair of sunglasses that are fitting my head so uh, therefore I was looking did as around and one model that came out was the cross range XL <clears throat> okay, so these are the standard uh, polished black uh, with uh, jade iridium uh, lenses. So you can get them in different uh, different uh, frame uh, color variations and also different uh, lenses options. These are RX compatible so you can you can fit your uh, prescription lenses inside these frames <coughs> so they are the what Oakley calls a lifestyle lifestyle variant so these are the lenses <clears throat> and one nice feature these uh, shades have is that you will get uh, almost like two different or not completely different but two different uh, sunglasses for two different uh, uh, let's say activities so firstly uh, when you want just nice um, stylish lifestyle sunglasses then you can then you can then you can uh, use use this uh, this model with the added bonus or how to say it Oakley will give you another pair of temples and just uh, demonstrate so standard when you are buying them you will get the sport variant of the temples so you have uh, your anoptanium rubber and also the the nose bridge is uh, fully unobtainium and you can also change it out to just a regular plastic nose bridge smaller sized to get your just standard li uh, lifestyle glasses so these hinges are anchored with, uh, with steel pins uh, I don't know if you can see it maybe not I guess I try to zoom in let's see so there you can see there is the pin and the changing out the temp is really easy you push down the button here or the lever you will take out the temples which one is this and now they are ready <coughs> they are a little bit shorter I will get 
the information is about the uh, sizes and next and uh, the nose bridge I will not take it but you just push it in the middle and then take it out so for me uh, there is one parameter of the of the actual sunglasses that's very important and that is the temple to temple uh, size so this is the one information you need to really hard uh, to to search I don't know why Oakley gives you no informations at least I have not found any on their side that they are looking for this uh, uh, this particular model they will not tell you uh, the dimensions of the of the of the sunglasses I don't know why so uh, let's uh, let's get uh, this straight away so you have the the lenses the lenses vid is uh, 58 uh, millimeters the lenses height is 47 to 50 so 47 is the is the inside of the so just the lens with the frame is 50 the temples are are the the sport one are uh, 137 millimeters so this one and the lifestyle ones are 135 millimeters the the for me the most info, uh, most important information is the temple to temple ratio or the the size so uh, right here we have uh, 135 then on the widest part we have uh, 144 and here at the end we have 110 so if you know your measurement then you will know that uh, if this uh, this uh, model will fit you <clears throat> one uh, maybe slight uh, issue or problem uh, if the if the sunglasses does not fit you good or you have really wide uh, wide head you need to be really cautious because these hinges or bolt locks or bolt levers I'll call it they stick a little bit out so they can dig in, uh, they can dig uh, inside your uh, skin a little bit the variants they are available you can get these just a standard variant with uh, with the black or this jade iridium uh, lenses then you can get uh, the newer ones uh, with the uh, with the prism uh, uh, finish and also uh, there is a there are the standard ones with the polarized uh, uh, coating or polarized finish on the top you will pay uh, from 150 to 220 depends on what model you are getting which uh, which lenses you are you are opting for and also these are probably more durable because they have these steel uh, steel pins inside and that is in my opinion nice improvement from these older variants where you have only uh, only the ohmmeter frame inside there's the construction of course uh, ohmmeter for the frame uh, then you have your your plutonite uh, lenses and uh, on the sport temples and the nose bridge you have you have the unobtainium rubber the if you don't know what it's an obtainium uh, it is kind of rubber that will uh, will cause it to be more sticky uh, when uh, it is getting wet so ideal for your uh, sport activities so that you have really nicely perfect fit and also retention so there you have your three points of, of retention the nose and the temples here so you will definitely not uh, need to worry you will not lose this uh, these sunglasses 
uh, they are also making a a standard size is a little bit smaller I don't know maybe around two or four millimeters uh, don't quote me on that and they also uh, a couple of different versions so if you like this design then go and check them out maybe if you have a dealer mm, near you then go and uh, try them out so really nice uh, really nice package uh, for the money in my opinion because you are you are getting basically two uh, two sunglasses in one uh, in one package so you have your your lifestyle so this is some kind of a transformer or hybrid transformer transformer is a better word for it so these are transformer sunglasses uh, really nice stylish and a really good brand and of course uh, you have your your HDO or high definition optics uh, so basically that means that uh, the lenses are made out of one uh, one uniform uh, sheet of uh, plutonium or plutonite sorry not plutonium that would be really really bad for your health <laughs> okay so uh, once again uh, here is the here is the packaging just short to to show you that uh, the model number is also here if you want to to track down this model so these are the standard no polarized um, lenses and also if you are on the fly and want to just to check the the measurements then you can also go here so there you can see it, so 58 is for lenses. I forgot this part here, 17, this is the nose bridge, so in the middle of the nose bridge. So basically here to here. And yes, the, the last information are the length of the, of the temple. So 137 for the sport variant. So it's really, really, and of course Oakley uh, has on their side uh, this model in a configuration configuration mode, so you can go and configure your own to hard desire. You can change out the colors, the the mounting uh, studs can be also used in different colors and of course the lenses and the frames there are different variants of frames you can go with black you can go with brown white also translucent or without color so yes and they are rx uh, rx uh, compatible so you can use these shades with your prescription lenses and you have no problems to to use it uh, while driving okay so really good basically you can you can just push out where is the information about it you can push out the the lens and they are really durable so don't worry about that you will crack them so thanks for watching, if you have any questions, leave comments down below, and as always, have a nice day, bye.